Alright, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. This is episode 11. We're gonna get our way into Blight Town right now. Here we go. What's my equip load? 19 is 16. I wear something a little bit more. been trying to get down there. You're probably going to get a cutout version of this where I edit out all of the deaths that I've taken trying to get down to the White Town fire pit, uh, fire bonfire. Blech. Can't even talk right now. I'm so frustrated. All right. Here we go. White Town is one of those places. It will just frustrate the crap out of you. There's really no getting around it. Any closer, and I'm going to aggro everything. I think that's like the whole point, though. That's what these guys want. Like, I already aggroed that thing. That's how you combat that. This is already a bad situation here because now I got no Estus and I got these toxic guys blowing darts at me. Yeah. 
All right, let's get this bonfire real quick here. So there we go. Bonfire is got. All right. We have made it to Blight Town. We finally unlocked the bonfire. And uh, yeah, so now we're, we're heading on out. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut out a lot of the deaths that are going to happen here. Um, if anyone is wondering, I am actually recording audio after I recorded the gameplay. So uh, I'm just going to kind of talk about what I see. And right now, I think uh, I'm trying to figure out where the toxic arrow is coming from. And right. uh, now we are going to uh, go right ahead and uh, we're just going to try to find our way around. So uh, probably going to be quiet for a little while um, unless we see something that uh, notable. But uh, yeah, we're here in Blight Town, probably one of the most hated areas. Okay. Kill the dogs. I moved a little bit more forward over here. Continue across. All right, we've got the aggro. It's coming. So this crystal sword, I'm gonna have to find a replacement for it soon. Uh, just because anything that's made out of the crystal uh, will eventually deteriorate. And I've been using it for quite some time now, so it's uh, it's going to deteriorate a lot sooner than later. Alright, here comes number two. It just stinks because the, uh, the crystal weapon I have is actually the, the most powerful weapon I have. Because I have not gotten a uh, Black Knight weapon to spawn. We're going to roll on down. Looking for a ladder, uh, but I think we're just going to go right down this way. We definitely received some aggro from something. There it is. That was a close one. Quick recovery here. The thing about Blight Town is, uh, like, it's not really that hard of a place. It's, uh... The difficulty lies in the fact that if you fall, you die. So, anyway, we're gonna go down and get the shield. The eagle shield. Taking a look down there, seeing, uh, what I can do here. I don't think I can just jump off. If I do, I probably die, so... Just the ambience of this place, too, makes you feel kind of desperate, in a way. Like, it's very dark, and there's almost nothing you can do about that, either, so... So we made the jump, we're going to collect our souls down here.
trying to assess the area, see where we're at. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, kill the, the squid. Uh, you do get a pretty nice drop if you do kill it, so uh, it is worth it. Just going to equip some fire bombs just in case. I think I have six of them. Yes, I do. Nice easy kill, thousand souls, and we get over here the power within pyromancy. So pretty sweet stuff. Super duper glad that we got it. All right, the only thing left to do is to keep going down.
Okay, we have uh, finally uh, found our way uh, through this maze. So we're going to uh, slide on down that ladder. The thing about Blight Town is it's so confusing. Like, I know I'm not really talking much right now, and whatever, but uh, it's because I'm concentrating and I'm really trying to not die. That's the biggest thing about Blight Town and what really halts people's progress in here. Is the fact that gravity will kill you instantly in this place because it's just, it's so unfriendly. The entire map seems like it's trying to kill you. And that'll be made more apparent as I get further down in. So, I'm gonna kill those things uh, with this crystal sword. I'm one-shotting everything, so that's kind of nice, honestly. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Uh, but these things, they do have a flame ability that really can um, absolutely screw you over. Uh, so anyway, heading on down still. Keeping on going. Decided to jump down and not use the ladder. That's fine. Uh, we got another ladder right there. Crossbow is pretty much useless. There's a guy uh, trying to shoot me right now with one of those blow guns. He can't quite hit me. And I can't quite hit him, so uh, we're just going to call it good and uh, I'm just going to run at him. See those masterful dodges there? That's what you need to be. You need to be a master just like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm really not even close to that, so. So we just got the Wanderer um, outfit, which I kind of like, uh, especially if you're over encumbered and you're carrying a big sword. Put on the old Wanderer outfit and uh, things will be just fine. So we almost died there. Got a lot of aggro in this little spot here. But uh, the good thing is we are super duper close to uh, the next bonfire. So that's great news. Okay, so there it is. That's why I was hearing the buzzing there. Buzz, buzz, buzz. So thankfully, once again, we are one-shotting things. Um, those flies uh, spit out a poison um, over time at you. So if you get hit by uh, that, you basically have two to three hits, and that's it. Before you're completely poisoned. So anyway, uh, I'm just waiting for these guys, but uh, decided to not wait, and uh, I'm going to head on into the swamp. I forgot to put my ring on, uh, so it makes me move a little bit slower. Skipping items right now, basically to get to the bonfire. So, we are at the bonfire now. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, part three of this will be up soon.